Hey, you guys! The Roop have won the final heat of Lithuania Eurovisia 2024 Heat 5. They emerged with the top points from the televote and the jury. The song is called Simple Joy. Now, shall we listen together? Let's do this! Hitting play. Oh, the styling. I like. If the world is over and I have no more time for chasing dreams by looking at it. Oh, so arresting. Really handsome. I see that I am rich in little things like the smell of coffee. The enunciation's excellent as always. Oh yeah. Oh, my dotas, honey! Even in the darkest hours, love will bloom. Oh, my life, I'm in pain. No one likes it. Now I'm fine. I'm in love with my own simple joy. Oh, yeah, this is got a very sweet and light philosophical message as well going with it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, give it to me, baby. I let myself dance and dance and dance. Are those leather shorts? I can recommend a few clubs, honey! <laughs> I love the ease of this. Oh, this is beautiful. You know what I like about Simple Joy? It is different to what they've done, but at the same time, there is a cohesive thread. It still has that sort of, yeah, this, his voice is 80s, right? And this is less synth, more whistle note. Yeah, I like it. And it's playful, it's light. There's a joy de vivre about it. This is really effective with a green cube pop on the LED. And sometimes, you know, more isn't more. It's about scaling back, embracing the simple joys of life. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, this is beautiful, actually. Ah, okay, well, I come from a mindset that if you've done Eurovision before, <sighs> yes, thank you very much. Thank you for doing it. And thank you for being part of the community, but also being part of the community is opening the door for others. On Fire was en route to win Eurovision. That Eurovision got cancelled. Lithuania was a little bit naughty, actually, because they had to fight for a spot the following year. It wasn't automatically granted to them. Yeah, it's fine. They gave them a spot in the final, but that's hardly anything these days. What they really needed was a, a, a ticket to Eurovision, but they earned it! They earned it with Discotech, which actually of all these three entries is probably my favorite. And Simple Joy, it's beautiful. I like it because it's different. I like the message behind it. And you know what? I've actually been reviewing Lithuania this year. I think it's a contender. I, you know, if, the, if, if Lithuania goes with Simple Joy, I wouldn't be mad. Yes, ideally the Roop, come on. Three times? 
Actually, they've done it more times because there were times when they did participate and they didn't win. So, anyway. Fun fact! Um, I bumped into the Roop in London. In fact, Vidotas called me and said, Hey, Devon. And it was smack in the middle of Oxford Street. And it was such a strange feeling because... Naturally... I just want to reach out and give a hug. But I kid you not, less than two minutes before they called me saying, hi, Devon, I had just got um, a notification from a COVID result. And let's just say it was not negative. And it was so funny. I was being so cold and so distant. But the reason was because I just didn't want to pass it on, right? <laughs> It was so bad. And of course, consequently, I was meant to, the reason I was taking that COVID test was to travel to Israel a couple of days late. Let's just say that trip never happened. Shalom, shalom. So I like this. I think it's beautiful. I think it's warm. We know the Roop are great performers. And we know that the Eurovision community loves them. Simple Joy gives them a chance to showcase a different identity to them a, a different kind of a different kind of style but also to go to come with um a, a beautiful message as well actually I, I i'm really responding to this very positively the only thing holding me back i was like i'm like sisters you gotta leave you gotta keep the door open for others but apart from this if they hadn't done eurovision before i'll be like sister i know where my vote is gonna be cast this is a really beautiful song and um, I can't wait to buy their next LP. And um, I'm actually going to download this now. The Roop, are you on Pinterest? You ought to be. I've only been asking for three years. Well, to all your fans, follow The Roop on all social media platforms and follow We We Blogs on Pinterest. We'll see you later.